President Trump made a big policy announcement on Twitter yesterday. Look at this. After consultation with my generals and military experts, please be advised that the United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. Our military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming victory and cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs and disruption that transgender in the military would entail. Thank you. Wow. Um, so he just in casually in a random tweet, he's like, yeah, we're done with having transgender people in the military. Just forget it. We're not allowing them in the military. Damn. Remember when Trump said he said it on the campaign trail it, during his fucking RNC speech. He said, uh, we will like protect. We'll be the most pro LGBTQ administration in history. I'm not kidding. He made that argument, but now look at what he's doing. Okay, so you might go, well, come on, there's came probably no transgender people in the military anyway. Actually, there's anywhere from 6,500 to 15,500 trans people already serving in the military. I know there's a pretty big range there. I think one number is from Rand and one number, I don't know if it's from the military themselves or whatever it is, but 6,500 to 15,500 trans people serving in the military. Um, now, in terms of the cost, because that's the argument, oh, the cost. Because we got to focus on overwhelming and decisive victory. We can't have, I mean, you can't have gender questions when that's going on. Um, well, Rand estimates that, get this, only 30 to 140 people seek hormone treatments per year who are transgender people and in the military. And only 25 to 130 seek gender transition related surgeries. So that amounts to about 0.04 to 0.13% uh, of the Defense Department's total health care spending. Not 0.04 or 0.13% of the Defense Department's spending, of the Defense Department's total health care spending. So we're talking like 0.00000000000001% of the mil the money that's allocated for the military. Too expensive, can't do it. Too expensive, can't do it. You know what costs more uh, than, than that? How about Viagra? Viagra and Cialis, so erectile dysfunction pills, cost uh, the Department of Defense over $80 million a year. All the treatment... For all transgender people in the military, way less than that. So, this is nonsense. And then furthermore, you want to talk about waste. How about the new F-35? That thing costs at least $1.5 trillion. You heard, with a T. $1.5 trillion. And people are saying, it's a mistake. It's a mistake because it doesn't uh, fly as well as the other one and it's not done right. Spent $1.5 trillion? And it doesn't even fucking fly right. Oh my god, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That is the saddest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. But no, that... Let's not talk about that. But let's talk about uh, trans people serving the country and... Um, yeah, let's just kick them out. Just get rid of them. Now, a lot of people, by the way, just to, to address this point real quick, because a lot of people on the left are like, Look, man, imperialism is imperialism. So, I don't give a fuck if you're genderqueer and you're killing innocent people. That's, that's terrible. So, what, you want me to be a progressive and rally to your side? Well, no, you, like, what you're doing is wrong. I've always been of the belief, though, that I blame the politicians for making the decisions to send the military off to fight places. They literally don't have a say in where they go. So... It's not like I, there's a, a lesser level of culpability among the troops than there is among the politicians who are making the decisions to send these troops into these dumb, horrific wars. So, yeah, I think that's an apples and oranges conversation. It's like, okay, we could be, we could be against literally every, any war you want to be against, but at the same time, you should understand that, yeah, that doesn't mean, like, it would be okay if the military decides to ban black people, or if they decide to ban gay people or trans people. But that's what this is, it's an outright trans ban. I mean, can you imagine if they came out and said, just gay people, we're just gonna ban all gay people from the military, or we're gonna ban all black people, 
or we're going to ban all women. Here's the way it should work. If you can meet the physical requirements, so if you can get through whatever testing that everybody has to go through, you should be allowed in. Full stop. That's it. Oh, you were able to meet the requirements? You're in. That's it. You're in. And they always talk about, oh, the military is not a place for social experiments. That's what you're doing. This is a fucking social experiment. We're going to ban people who we don't like based on arbitrary characteristics. So you're the one who's doing the fucking social experiment. It's not a social experiment to say, oh, you met the requirements. We're going to let you in. That's not a social experiment. That's standard operating procedure. And by the way, that is the same argument that was fucking made when they didn't have black people in the military. Oh, this isn't the place for social experiments. We're going to allow black people in here. That's crazy. So that's not, a, that's not a good argument. You sound fucking stupid when you make that argument. If you can meet the requirements, the physical requirements to get in, then you should be allowed in. That's it. But there we go. Oh, and by the way, why is he doing this? Why is he doing this? You might say, this is weird. What a random fucking time to do this. Uh, two reasons. Number one, Fox News. He watches it all the time, and they were doing segments recently on trans people in the military. So he's watching it, and he's going, yeah, I agree. Get no, ban him. I'm going to ban him. Banned. Banned. And then the other part is, he's getting so much bad press in so many other areas. The disaster of the healthcare bill, you know the pile on with the Russia, 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 which I don't agree with, but he's getting bad press across the board with stuff like that. So what do you do when you're tanking in the polls and you're losing support so fast and your agenda is stalled? Do what any authoritarian leader would do. Pander to the base. So the right wing base in this case. So this uh, actually Putin does this all the time where, oh, shit, you know, I'm, I'm struggling or something bad happened. Well, let me go to the Orthodox Church and you pander to them and then you shore up the base support. So this gets the, the evangelical Christian fundamentalists who were already on his side big time. This rallies them even more to his side. And so he can shore up a certain portion of his support as he loses other people who supported him tepidly or otherwise. Um, so there we are, man. This is where we are. Just president randomly tweeting, yeah, we're done with trans people in the military. Arguments make no sense. It's a dumb move. It's a bigoted move. Uh, but that's the direction he's going in.